I'm not touching that category. Okay. Let's do it for Ted. What's up, you're watching Hive Mind, the most aquatic show on the internet. My name is Riley Zosman, my fiery co-host, Graydon. <laughs> and welcome to the seventh episode of Hive Mind Jeopardy. Jeopardy, where we get two boards of trivia and a final Hive Mind Jeopardy clue. You get it. And yeah. It's a game. <laughs> it's a game to finally decide who's smarter. Me versus Graydon versus you. Eddie at West Point Academy. Thank you for your service. <laughs> All right, before we do, make sure you like the video, subscribe if you want to see more, HiveMindTV.com for our merch. We also have merch over on Cope's website, which is linked in description. It's also on the screen, check it out. Also linked in description is our Patreon, where you can support us for $5 a month, you get extra content, or you can click the join button here on YouTube and become a member. Thank you. Curse, 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 curse. What's the curse? Huh? Huh? What? What's that? I didn't say that. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Buzzer's out. <laughs> hey! All right, Grant, what are the categories for today's Hive Mind Jeopardy? Today's categories are the following. Hit makers. With the information provided, guess these hit song titles. If they married. Using clue one, the first name, and clue two, the last name, guess the clever fantasy name. Questionable movie titles. Guess these movie titles with a question mark in them. My favorite position. No, not that. We're talking about athletics. Hello, goodbye. Given the first and last song, name the album. And finally, potpourri. This is our music trivia category. You can't buzz in Graydon. yet. There hasn't been a... There's no clue on the screen. Got it. Okay. I get to go first this time. Because you won the last game? I don't remember. Uh, probably. <laughs> I think you did. Uh, I'm going to go with Hello Goodbye for one. Dust Cutter, Texas Blue, Riley. Scrapyard. That is correct. I was going to say something completely different, so I'm glad you beat me there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It was a close call, too. It was, yeah. yeah. I was going to say Pink Floyd's The Dark Side of the Moon. <laughs> One. One? Yeah, there's three of them. No, there's mm -hmm. just, I'm pretty sure it's just one of them. <laughs> the other two aren't out, me and Screlly on them. Screlly? <laughs> oh, uh, you know. Martin, the, yeah. The pill boy. Yeah. <laughs> Come yeah. here, pill boy. <laughs> yeah, don't talk to him like that. He's a close friend. Come on, pill boy, play me that Wu-Tang album. Don't talk to him like that. He's a close friend of mine. He's not here. He's not pill boy. He's a pill boy. Pill, berry, bow, bow, bow. One nothing. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Hit makers for one. Britney Spears tells her lover to give me a sign and do this, which her producers were cool with because they thought it meant to give someone a call. Graydon. Hit me, baby. One more time. That is correct. I was unsure what the whole category was, so I'm good. I'm good now. Yeah, it's like a hit song. Her producers thought that that meant hit me on the phone. Yeah, it's like, a different time. Bang my line. <laughs> Bust my jaw open and call my phone. Give me a ring. Ring a ding ding. Ring a ding ding. Give me your ring. Hey, Brittany, let me tell you one thing. It's a good song. It's a great song. Why is my chair doing this leaning thing? Can I lock it up? Yeah, dude. You can. Boom, I like that. <laughs> Less range of motion. I can focus on the game now. I don't really get the if they married category, so let's do that for five. <laughs> the Kylo Ren actor weds the criminal singer and gets this voice box protector. Who sings criminal? Voice box protector. It's Adam Driver. Totally. Plays Kylo Ren. Totally. But who sings criminal? Smooth criminal. No, <laughs> it's not that, is it? It's Alien Ant Farm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Adam Driver. So that's the First name, Donald Driver? A voice box protector. Is that like a collar? Like a turtleneck? Adam Turtle. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. I'm cool on it. This is Adam Apple. Adam Apple. Fiona Apple saying criminal. Yeah, but it should have been Adam's apple. No one is anybody's possession. <laughs> if Fiona chose to marry Adam, it's probably because he's a big hot marine. Not because she wants to be his apple. I also thought it was Adam's apple, like A-T-O-M-S. Oh, like an Adam. Yeah, I thought it was Atom's apple, but that's what the whole game's about, is learning. Are those people actually married? <laughs> what? No? No. They wouldn't be anyway. Like, it wouldn't... Sadly, our society has not progressed to the point where men are taking the last names of women. Oh, it would have been Apple Fiona Kylo Ren Driver. <laughs> <laughs> Still my board. Let's go questionable movie titles for three. Brian Cranston can't stop wondering this when his daughter introduces him to a new boyfriend, Silicon Valley millionaire James Franco. Riley. What's the deal? 
That is incorrect. (laughs) (laughs) Cool. I'm good on that. I'm good with him losing three points. This is why him? Oh, okay. James Franco. I thought it was what's the deal? (laughs) What's the deal? Next question. Hitmakers for three. This song reemerged as a streaming giant after TikTok dusted it off a year after its release. I guess stranger things have happened. Riley. When I'm back in Chicago, I feel it. What's the song called? Joe made it. Oh, shit. You gotta know the song title. Yep. Another version of me, I was in love. He doesn't get to do this. And I'm back This in is not Chicago. what they do. The buzz would go ding, 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 and you're out of time. That, they're not in our game. Oh, this sucks. <laughs> I gotta watch you figure Another this out. Another version of me, I was in there. Could be that. Say Chicago. <laughs> it's not called that. Oh, uh, the end of beginning. That is correct. <laughs> By Fuck Joe. That. Yeah. Fuck that bullshit. Joe Curie. Fuck you, man. Hey. Fuck Joe Curie, too. I think he's handsome, good at singing, and he's good in that show, The Stranger Things. <laughs> the Stranger Things. Uh-huh. Next one, I'm going to go with my favorite position for one. Magic Johnson was one of the tallest players in this role, which is typically designated for a shorter stature. Graydon. Point guard. That is correct. Yes. He also started at center in the finals. <laughs> Shaq played point guard that game. Hell yeah. (laughs) Shaquille O'Neal. Shaq for short. (laughs) My favorite position for four. Translated from the Italian word for free, this position stays on the back line of the court and is particularly skilled at receiving serves. (sighs) Just watch Challengers. Should know this. Um... (laughs) Oh, I know it. And I'm just going to... I'm going to try. Graydon. Is it a... Is it a Lombardo? Lombero? It's a Libero! That is correct. Ha! <laughs> suck on my ass. It's a Libero. They wear a different colored jersey and they can come in whenever they want. I thought Libero is that pizza place in the mall. It is. <laughs> libero. It's also a volleyball player. Oh, that's volleyball? V-ball, as we call it for short. Nice. <laughs> Head on out. My favorite position for three. Aptly named this... They are the ones on the cheerleading squad who get tossed in the air for stunts. Graydon. Aerialists. That is incorrect. Oh, shit. What are they, the Flyers? (laughs) That's probably it, the way Grant laughed. Yeah, Grant did laugh a certain way. (laughs) I bet you they're called the Flyers. Yeah. I mean, you might as well go ahead and get those points. (laughs) Riley. I'm going to go with the Dayton Flyers. What? Flyers. Yeah. That is correct. Yes. Used to pass those out. Used to pass those out all over campus <laughs> for your one-man show nights. <laughs> I'm sorry I never went to one of those. <laughs> Thanks for passing out the flyers, though. No, you did that. Oh, I didn't bad. pass them out. Oh. I still have a huge stack at my house. <laughs> <laughs> it might be worth something one day. I use them as napkins. Ew. <laughs> if I get a greasy piece of pizza from Libero, I just rah, 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 and then I toss it. Potpourri for two, please. Future was the original writer and performer of this hit Beyonce song and claims he still hasn't received credit. Riley. Drunk in love. That is correct. That's what I would have said, too. He just beat me to it. You would have said that you wrote that song? No. His reference track leaked for it. So now Beyonce, a lot of people are questioning whether she's really at top of the rap game. (laughs) (laughs) I don't think she is, for the record. A reference track for Mob Ties also came out. Yep. Vori did it. Beyonce is eight. For Rod. <laughs> if they married for two. The older Williams tennis sister weds the uptown funk singer and gets this out of the world name. Riley. Venus Mars. What? I buzzed in. Oh, my bad. I was just mocking what you were going to sound like. <laughs> <laughs> I don't sound anything like that. Venus Mars. Yeah, you kind of do. Grant, it's Venus Mars. <laughs> That is correct. Don't do that. Venus, closest planet to Earth, right? Penis, closest planet (laughs) to to your fucking face. (laughs) Fuck you, man. (laughs) Boom. Fuck you. Get shit on. (laughs) Whatever. Asshole. Questionable movie titles for one, please. Ice Cube stars in a family road trip where the kids keep asking this. Graydon. Shaman Omaha, it's Are We There Yet? That is correct. Thank God I didn't buzz in quick enough. I was going to say, dude, where's my car? Dude, where is it? <laughs> oh, that's definitely going to be one of them. Click the next one. Okay. Or not click it, but say it. I got you, bro. Show me your favorite position for five. It's the numbered ballet stance seen here. Riley. 
Uh, was bow legged? <laughs> that is incorrect. It's probably like three and seven or something. You know what I mean? Like if you thought of that as a clock where your feet would be, that's what it kind of looks like to me. Also, how big is that person's feet? <laughs> Holy, what is that, a size 30? I thought ballerinas were a little more smaller. How could you tell that? It's zoomed in on just the feet. Yeah, there's just a long foot. That's, I mean, I think that would probably help with dancing. Big long feet, sub sandwich yeah, feet? Absolutely. <laughs> I'm not going to guess for this shit, and I don't like even looking at this picture. No, I'm not going to guess either. Well, I did already. This is fifth position. Oh, it's a fifth position. I, nice. I rarely get to the fifth position. <laughs> I usually max out at three. It's good enough, man. man. Questionable movie titles for five. Despite shrugging off rumors of their infamous Hollywood feud, Betty Davis and Joan Crawford revived their careers with this as their most successful box office feature. Jurassic Park. No, the answer has to be in the form of a question. Jurassic Park? <laughs> is it the characters or is it the actors who had the feud? Like, is this the plot of the movie or is this how the movie came to be? I don't even know where Hollywood's at. It's over there. St. Clair Shores? Oh, sorry. Detroit? <laughs> <laughs> My bad. Uh, Ferndale? <laughs> sorry. It's a... Uh... Canada? <laughs> Joan Crawford and Betty Davis, gosh, they're good, but I don't know. No say me. <laughs> this is Whatever Happened to Baby Jane. It's a movie, I'm guessing. Yeah, probably. But I have never heard of that. Yeah, me either. It's probably about, uh, what's her face? Fucking, uh, who's the little kid who went missing? Pageant queen. Little girl. Oh, such a sad and tragic story yeah. for America. And what was her name? Uh, Armenia. No. No. That's a place. <laughs> Could be a name. It's a pretty name, honestly. That's probably kind of beautiful, but... Yeah. Um, Was it Jukebox? No. Uh -oh. That's a radio. Like an old radio. It'd be a good name, though. I do, by the way, I know that the whole, like, Flupus thing that I've been saying, it's still true I want to name a kid Flupus, but I have a new name that has kind of, like, overtaken it. Save okay. it. Save it? For yourself, yeah. Make it a surprise for me. It'll be fine. I won't tell you guys, because then you guys will steal it and name your kids it, because it's Actually, such a perfect name yeah. for a kid. Who's that guy that pitched a perfect game on Acid? Something else. Ellis? Yep. Doc, Doc Ellis. Doc Ellis. Doc yeah. Ellis for the Oakland Athletics because the documentary was named Ellis, comma, D. Nice. LSD. So cool. Think anybody's ever done that in Jeopardy? Gone and won on acid? Yeah. yeah. Or any sort of drugs. Yeah, definitely. Really? Some of the smartest people ever, they do all that shit. They do psychedelics all the time to expand their minds. Steve Hobbs. Was he Spanish? Yeah, Hispanic? I think he was Spanish. Okay, yeah, yeah that makes more sense. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do potpourri for five. This New York rapper was the voice of Reptar from Rugrats. <laughs> what? <laughs> huh? <laughs> Can we both agree not to guess? I am too excited to figure out. Okay. Graydon. Ja Rule? <laughs> that is incorrect. That would have been perfect. Right. It's got to be. Oh, man, that's so crazy. I don't know if it's the voice of Reptar. Does Reptar have a voice? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. like that. <laughs> yeah. I feel like for some reason it's going to be like Method Man or Red Man or something. I'm not going to guess because I'm. then I'll go in the negative. Uh, okay. I want to know who it is, so who is it? This is Busta Rhymes. I was right there. You were right there, yeah. yeah. Busta Rhymes is the voice of Reptar. That's so cool. <laughs> not that cool. It's pretty sweet. Ironically, I did the voice of Busta Rhymes in an episode of Rick and Morty. <laughs> Did you really? Yeah. Okay, let's uh let's hear it. Bust it out. Hello, Rick. <laughs> they gave him a funny voice. That's part of the bit. Oh. But I did the voice of Buster Rhymes in an episode of Rick and Morty that never aired. Oh. Because <laughs> honestly, it's what I said. <laughs> it's what you said. Yes. What did you say? <laughs> Something that I shouldn't have said. Why do you always you you always blow every big opportunity for yourself in this business? <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> you always say the wrong thing. Yeah. Okay. Let's do hit makers for five. Gray Slick of Jefferson Airplane found a tie in the story of Alice in Wonderland and psychedelic drug use to write this, their biggest song. Jefferson Airplane. Graydon. Did you Age of Aquarius? That is incorrect. This is the dawning of the Age of Aquarius. I don't even think that was them now that I'm singing it. <laughs> Jefferson Airplane. Stupid, stupid band. <laughs> Also, wasn't he in a car? Jefferson? Yeah, Thomas Jefferson. <laughs> what? He got his top blown off in a car, right? Jeez. And he was dating Marilyn Monroe? Jeez. Or, man. sorry, Marilyn Manson? You are, f you got it all fucked up. It's crazy that even when you rise to the height of the president of the United States of America, you can't even just ride around with the top down. <laughs> Sipping on gin and juice.
I don't know anymore. Um, Gray Slick. What is it? This is White Rabbit. Oh, yeah. That's the, the, it's the campfire song. Thumper. It's the name of the rabbit, I think, in Alice in Wonderland. Thumper. <laughs> the Cheshire Rabbit. No, that's Thumper. Che it's Cheshire Cat. Was Thumper not in Fox and the Hound? <laughs> Fox and the Hound. <laughs> Fox and the Hound. God. Unlikely duo, but they barely put it together. That's a tearjerker. Fox is actually a cat. That's what makes it so unlikely. Ain't nothing but a cat. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hello, goodbye, five. Alewife, I wouldn't ask you. Riley. Claro. What's the name of the album, though? You gotta I know fucked it. it up. Yeah. I fucked it up. Claro. I'm gonna think about it for five, ten minutes. Oh! I'll probably get there. Oh! Claro, it's the one, the cabin one. No, it's not. It's immunity. That is correct. Yes. She's got immunity in the industry because her dad's Coca-Cola or something. <laughs> How many times are we going to go over this? What? You can't be a Nepo baby if your dad made soda. <laughs> what are you, sure you can. She make music. Soda runs the music industry. No. Everybody knows that. The music industry runs on soda. No, it doesn't. Look he... between the lines, man. Look between the lines? You just see what they want you to see, don't you? You ever seen Sprite commercials? Yeah. Exactly. I've seen the one where Drake opened his face up. Right. And that was like a <laughs> nod to soda running the music industry. Honestly. Honestly, they did forever that song. It's like the four biggest rappers at the time Drake, yeah. Eminem, Lil Wayne, and Kanye West. Sprite song. That was a Sprite song. And LeBron was in the music video. All right. That's actually, you know what? You might have a point. And guess who owns Sprite? Claro's dad, Coca Cola. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. <laughs> but I think that, you know, she's just, she's good at music. And her daddy's dad. <laughs> and her daddy's Coca Cola. So those aren't mutually exclusive. Hi, <sighs> yeah. I, I got like a pie chart going in my head mm -hmm. of like stuff in the video so far and I'm just trying to figure out the percentages but I'm starting to get a headache. Next question. The questionable movie titles for two please. Jesse and Chester go on an otherworldly quest for an automobile in this Y2K comedy. Yeah. Graydon. Dude, where's my car? That is correct. I shouldn't have tipped you off to it. I would have gotten it. Ah! <laughs> what was that? I didn't say anything. Great. <laughs> Jesse and Chester, I thought that was Lincoln Park, and his name was Ashton. <laughs> oh, yeah, it is Ashton Kutcher, before he became a, a dick. Did he become a dick? Isn't he just like a hippie who doesn't wash his kids? Either way, <laughs> not someone I'd like to spend a lot of time with. Hey, I can't blame him. I don't wash his kids either. Why would I? You're walking into a murky pond here, buddy. I don't wash people's kids either. <laughs> if I was married to Mila Kunis, I'd do whatever she told me to. That's all I'm going to say. Except be it in more than two episodes of that 90s show. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do uh, my favorite position for two. This defender statistically gets the most balls hit to them more than any other position, as most batters are right-handed. Graydon. Is it right field? That is incorrect. Oh, left field. Riley. Left field. That is incorrect. Third base. I don't get to do it again. You're all done. Bitch. Yeah, we're done. That's how it works in Jeopardy. What so. is it, first base? It's a shortstop. Oh, uh, can we do hello, goodbye? I don't want to do that category. I was just joking. You know how to joke. <laughs> well, I was just like playing around. If they married for four. Fuck. What, I have negative seven points or something? Negative six. Negative six. So I can wager up to what, ten? Ah, sure. I don't know. All right, I'll wager. Uh, we never understand the rules of this. So yeah, ten's fine. I feel like that's fine. Yeah, totally. I will wager ten points. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Ten total points, please. A Philly soul great weds raps hitmaker and gets this mammal-shaped snack. It's an animal cracker. <laughs> That's like what that snack is. A Philly soul great. Is that Grover Washington Jr.? Philly soul. I mean, that's also, uh, who is it? Bill. Who's the guy that's sitting on the deck of the bay? <laughs> Bill O'Brien. What's his name? Sitting on the dock of the bay. Bill Lampier. Nope, that's a basketball player. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like nothing's gonna change. Sitting on the dock of the bay, I'm pretty sure that was mm. Gary Sheffield? It's a mammal-shaped snack. Some of the animal crackers aren't mammals, so maybe that's different. I'm gonna go with animal crackers. That is incorrect. What was it? This is Teddy Graham. Oh, yeah. I got it. That's, that's like a mammal. It's Teddy Pendergrass and Aubrey Graham. Right. <laughs> Let's go, hello, goodbye, four. Pre, night, Riley. Doris. That is correct. I know, that's a good name for a baby girl. 
sweatshirt. <laughs> Honestly, do you mind if I steal that or? Yeah, go ahead. I don't think I can have kids. You don't think so? I'm pretty, no. Dude, listen, I know you're in a tough place right now. Yeah. And you're having trouble juggling work and family, but <laughs> I think you could do it, man. I think you could have kids. Last time I came, there was a stick in it. <laughs> Got a little stick. And some other stuff from outside. That's normal, man. <laughs> I don't okay. think it is. I called the <laughs> no. doctor and he hung up on me. That's probably a coincidence. <laughs> okay. Honestly, man, everybody's got a bunch of crap in their cum. <laughs> okay. Everyone's, Thanks. Everybody's got a bunch of garbage from outside in their semen. I mean, it's a normal, <laughs> Do they really? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It feels like you're lying. No, I come every week. Yeah. Sometimes it's trash, and then every other week it's trash and recycling, but separate. <laughs> Huh. It's normal, man. You can probably have kids. Okay, thanks. And I think you can handle it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. To your board. Wait a minute. You're not a girl. You can't have kids. <laughs> <laughs> My turn. Potpourri for one. In an interview from 2017, Barack Obama claims Drake would lose in a rap battle to this rapper should they ever feud. Riley. Kendrick Lamar. That is correct. And boy, was he wrong. Family Matters slaps. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck Barack Obama. Come on, man. <laughs> What, I'm trying to appeal to another audience. But, I mean, have some respect for the dead. He got shot in a convertible. <laughs> How about if they married for one? This stand-up comedian weds the gin and juice rapper and gets this Nickelodeon show's name, Riley. Cat dog. That is correct. Oh, nice. I get it. I still am unsure on that category. <laughs> yeah, it's the first name plus the last name. That's where I get lost, is the plus. If Cat Williams and Snoop Dogg got married and Cat decided to take the last name of Snoop Dogg, which in real life is Dog, <laughs> then he'd be Cat Dog, which is the name of a Nickelodeon TV show. Do you get it now? You'll figure it out if they married for three. The former governor of California weds Chelsea's top goal scorer and gets this sweet iced tea beverage. Oh. Riley. Arnold Palmer. That is correct. It's not really an iced tea beverage. It's iced tea and lemonade. Right, so it's just as much a lemonade beverage. <laughs> Arnold Palmer. <laughs> I thought it was going to be iced tea lemonade governator. Like the rapper iced tea. Who's Chelsea's top goal scorer? Cole Palmer. Don't Pal care. <laughs> Soccer. Don't so fucking. Oh, Cole, Cole Palmer. Just, Cole Palmer. Sorry. Cole Palmer. Cole Palmer. And Chelsea's top goal scorer is Cole Palmer. So that's also how you get there. <laughs> Hello, goodbye for two, please. Curtains up. Skit. Curtains close. Graydon. Is it curtain call? That is incorrect. Would have seemed like it could have been that, right? That's an yeah. album, right? Yeah, it sure is. Riley. The Eminem Show. That is correct. Ah, it's close. It's Eminem. The Eminem Show by Eminem. <laughs> Our rest in beast to Slim Shady. Another legend. Gone too soon. Yeah. Actually, no. Honestly, gone a little later than I would have liked. Yeah, it feels like he wasn't really around for 20 years and then he <laughs> showed back up just to get killed. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of weird. How about Hit Makers for Four? This was the first single off of Green Day's Nimrod in 1997. American. That was on American Idiot, the album. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to risk it. No. This is Hitchin' a Ride. Oh, okay. Hitchin' a Ride. Probably. Probably something <laughs> close. Mm -hmm. You know, who was it? Billy Joe Armstrong? Billy Joel Armstrong. You know him? What? <laughs> do you know him? <laughs> like, in, Do you know Billy Joel Armstrong? Like in real life? Hey, it's do you just, know? It's just Billy Joe Armstrong, by the way. I don't know why you're saying Billy Joel Armstrong. <laughs> okay. Let me, I'll redo that then. Hey, do, do you know, know Billy Joe Armstrong? Don't, don't redo it. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I'm just letting you know. <laughs> I'm about to tell you a fun fact. Hey, did you know Billy Joe Armstrong? Did you know him? I, like in real life? Like I don't Yes. Get, no, I don't know him in real life. I never, right. I never met him. If you did, I had something very bad about him to tell you. What? Since you don't, it doesn't matter. I mean, I'm a fan of the band, though. I feel like would it help? It or... doesn't matter. What if I meet him in the future? Then I'll tell you. He's going to offer you something very specific, and I need you to know then. So oh. am I expected to maybe, like, call you as soon as I meet him? Or... Yes, I would hope so. Okay. Is that going to be before or after he offers me the thing? It'll be right around the same thing. He'll say, I'm going to give you. He usually gives you a night to sleep on it. <laughs> If he's really pressed, he'll give you 15 minutes. Does he tell you what the thing is? As I know what it is. I know, but does he tell me? Yeah! 
So he tells me, then gives me a night to sleep on it and or 15 minutes. Yeah, and it's very appealing. It's very appealing. But it's a little scary. Okay, appealing yeah. but scary. Just call me when that happens. If it happens. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, that's so difficult. What? Like, like talking to a horse sometimes. Did I do something wrong? <laughs> yeah. What do you mean talking to a horse? It's like talking to a stallion. A nice looking stallion. <laughs> Thank you. You're I welcome. Quite appreciate you saying that. Yeah. But I don't see what I did wrong there. I was just trying to figure out. Okay. It's like I'm supposed to understand that Billy Joe Armstrong from Green Day is going to offer me something and when to call you. He will offer you something right. if you mean it. I'm a... just saying it's almost like I was supposed to know that before. <laughs> like you're mad at me for not understanding this weird situation. It's not weird. It's dangerous, frankly. <laughs> and I'm, I'm trying to help you. Okay. It's going to be appealing. You're going to want to do it right away. <laughs> Hello, goodbye for three. Safe house, paradise. <laughs> oh, you did the. <laughs> it was a pump pump fake to you. Oh, okay. Because I wanted you to give up. I don't know it, so I don't care. This is Love Is Rage. Oh, duh. The Lil Uzi Vert album. Yeah. <laughs> Love in Love Is Rage stands for Lil Uzi Vert. I get it now. Yeah, it's an acronym. Mm -hmm. Cool. Keep okay. me pushing. Let's do it. Oh, three for three, please. The BPM of this BG song is often taught to medical students as the correct rhythm to perform CPR. Graydon. Staying alive. That is correct. It's just staying alive. Can we get a referee's check on that? Does that count? He said staying. Let me uh, check VAR. This play is under review. Stands. Huh? That was quick. Usually hmm. those decisions take too long. Yeah, it must have been a no doubter. Yep. It is ironic, ain't it? Stay in love. Oh, God, a lot of stuff. Because you have to blow into their mouth, too. Yeah. CBR is not just the heart pumps. And if their mouth is clogged, punch them in the throat. Yeah. To the tune of Mama Said Knock You Out by LL Cool J. Wrong. Oh. Sexy Beck. Oh, okay, got it. Uh, let's do a question from little movie titles for four. In this Coen Brothers movie, a loose adaptation of the Odyssey, George Clooney bears the Roman name for Odysseus. Riley. Oh, brother, where art thou? That is correct. Damn, we're at that spot. <laughs> they got bluegrass soundtrack. What are they, the Soggy Bottom Boys? Are you telling me about this movie that I've seen like five times? Or yeah, are you, you telling do, the audience? You do that <laughs> shit all the time. I am a man of constant <laughs> sorrow. Hey, let me hit that harmony. Ham! Do it one more time. I am a man. Oh, oh, we'd never make it back come in the day. On. One more to come on. One, two, three, four. I, I am a man. man. Ah, it's just flat. Fuck, something's fuck off. You. Something's fuck off. You. Fuck you, asshole. <laughs> something's <laughs> off. You are a dick sometimes. <laughs> we would never make we it. Could, I was getting there. It takes me a second to work <laughs> up to it, and you know that. So one, two, three, four, five, Hi. six, seven. I was coming to the eight. <laughs> you should know that. I count to four first, and then I count to eight. Every goddamn time, and I'm gonna do 16 this time. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. I am a man of constant sorrow. I mean, it's like, give it to me. You have to. You went up to where I was. Leave me alone up there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You I'm not it. doing it again. Fine. I don't even want to do it anymore. <laughs> okay. We wouldn't even, have made it. I don't want to sing with you anymore. All right. That's because fine. I, well, I sing for the love of the game, and you obviously hate it. Yeah. And you only do it for money. Yes. It's bullshit. Good movie, though. I'll do you uh, hit makers for two. Working late as a singer doesn't seem like such a bad gig if it means peaking number four on the Billboard Hot 100. Graydon. Is this Sabrina Carpenter? Huh? Oh, it's a uh, fuck. It's the name of the song. <laughs> Hitchum. What? Hitchcock. Is that the name of a song? Hitchcock? Hitchcock. <laughs> I think that's my that's gonna be my final answer, Ken. Hitchcock. That is incorrect. I'll pass on it. Espresso. Oh, that's that me espresso. I forgot the name of the song. That's why it gets gets Hitchcock. <laughs> Body tea. That's that me espresso. It's that me espresso. I'm working late because I'm a singer. Can we redo that so I get it right? No. I'm going to look like an idiot. That's part of the game. Fuck. <laughs> you looked like an idiot when you wouldn't harmonize with me. You're going to look like an idiot when you just foolishly accept that gift from Billy Joe Armstrong. <laughs>
I'm gonna, it comes with a lot of strings attached. I'm going to call you. And I'm not going to answer. Yes, you are. No, I'm going to block your number after this. Yeah, right. You okay. don't even know how to do that on your new phone. I don't. Let's get the last clue, Kenjamin. Top of the Oscar list for most wins for original score, this composer is considered the father of film music, Graydon. Is it John Williams? That is incorrect. Shit. Yeah. Yep. Is it Quincy Jones? Come on. Man. Hans Zimmer. Probably. Guess it. No, I don't want to guess anymore. <laughs> okay, I'm you don't sick have of to. It. I'm sick of being bossed around by you. <laughs> I feel right. like that's what this show has become, is yeah. you bossing me around. Press the button, damn it. Guess Hans Zimmer. It's a good guess. No. Okay. Actually, yeah. Hans Riley. Zimmer. I don't care. Hans Zimmer. That is incorrect. <laughs> All right, I'll lose four. I'll get on your level. Oh, you're going to have to lose a lot more than that. <laughs> I think I'm at not negative 26. 21. Negative 21. That's not bad. I like my chances going into double triple. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like Steve Hobbs. <laughs> All right, Grant, who was it? Alfred Newman. Let's see. Fuck. Oh, you got a friend in me. <laughs> You got a friend in me. <laughs> that is the end of Hive Mind Jeopardy Board 1. And now we're going to go on to Hive Mind Double Jeopardy. This is where it really gets serious. Double the points, double the trouble, and double the laughs. We'll see you after the break. <laughs> Grant, what's the second round categories? Today's Double Jeopardy categories are the following. Colorful music taste. Answers in this category are a single color. Four letter words. Answers here are four individual letters that share a connection. Take my whiskey neat. Provided the ingredients for a cocktail, name the drink. Six degrees of Kevin Bacon. Provided the actor, name the movie they are in with Kevin Bacon. Common members. Given the name of two bands, name the person who has been in both. And finally, skip intro. Which artists slash bands made these shows theme songs? Wow, this seems difficult. Who the fuck is Kevin Bacon? I know who he is, but I don't know movies at all. So, I mean, that's going to be your category. <laughs> I don't even know who the guy is. Hey, you do. Is he a guy? Footloose. Footloose. Okay, that's one. Put on your Sunday shoes. That's one. And... Great job singing it. Oh, I don't care. It's still flat. No, and it's I won't, not. And I won't be in a band with you. All right. Well, you're losing by a whole lot, so you can go first. Take my whiskey neat for 10. Yes. I'd like to wager as much as I can wager. How much can I wager? Well, it was 10 in the first round, so Let's I guess make it it's 20. 20, yeah. 20, probably. please. Strawberries, ice, rum, lime juice, sugar syrup. Strawberries? Is this a... What? Is it a strawberry mojito? That is incorrect. Dude, you're a bartender. Yeah, but rum and lime juice and it's strawberries? A, it's a strawberry daiquiri, you dingwit. Oh, can I get that right? No. Oh, fuck. Is it a strawberry daiquiri? It is a strawberry daiquiri. Oh, nice. How did I get the alcohol question over you? Because the alcohol did things to my brain. <laughs> Okay. I'm down a lot. Negative 41. I've been in worse holes before. <laughs> I was in a hole last weekend with a crab in it. Big crab, too. Lady crab. You were in a hole with a crab? Yeah, I <laughs> fell into a hole and there was an old... I don't know if it's old, but there's a crab in there. A crab S? A crab S, yeah. <laughs> she benched me. Pretty good. How'd you get in the hole? What do you mean? Well, did you fall into it? Did you <sighs> dig, dig it yourself? I was put there. You I was convinced to go in there. Okay. Someone said, you won't believe what's down there. I said, no fucking way, it's a crab. And then it went... <laughs> you knew there was a crab in there and you climbed no, in anyway? No, or? no, no, no. <laughs> Someone said, you won't believe what's in that hole. And right. I said, okay. So I went in the hole. I <laughs> fell into a trap, so to speak. But you didn't fall into the hole? No. How did you get down there? What do you mean? How deep was the hole? Deep enough. Like, it was probably nine feet. So you just kind of jumped in? I climbed down. There were roots and stuff. Okay. Mm. So you could have climbed up. Nah, I guess I didn't think about that. <laughs> Let's see if you can dig your way out of this hole. Yeah, I hope so. There's not a crab in here. That's what you think. I hope. <laughs> All right, still my board. I'm doing great. Um, let's do the whiskey for eight. Ice, vodka, peach snaps, orange juice, cranberry juice. Um, it's like a... Graydon. Is that sex on the beach? That is correct. 
I was going to guess intercourse on the shore. What's that? <laughs> sodomy in the sand? What's that? Reverse cowgirl in a lake house? Hey, what the, it's not even close to the beach. I guess it is. It is close to the beach. Well, well the one my parents have. You don't want to be that close to the beach because there could be crabs. You are afraid of crabs. Right? I really am. Yeah. Some people hate spiders. Other people hate Nazi zombies and stuff. And I hate crabs. Feels like a recency bias thing. Huh? Feels like you just ran into a crab recently. I and that's in. what you're most scared. Climbed down. Thank you. To a crab hole. It's not like I bumped into a crab on the street. I could defend myself there at least. Uh, yeah, for sure. I have my saying, street gun on me. I'm just saying you like what you're scared of is just the most recent obstacle or opponent that you faced. I guess. <laughs> Spooky though, they freaky looking. Yeah. Uh, let's do the whiskey neat for six. Tequila, triple sec, lime juice, sugar syrup, Graydon. That sounds like a margarita to me. That is correct. Okay. How is that for six points? This is fucking bullshit. What, is this whole show going to be about drinking? Can I'm going to do like another category. I'm going to do the category. I feel like I have the best chance to get some points back. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Take my whiskey knee for, for four. four. Pineapple juice, white rum, coconut cream. Ugh. <laughs> do you know this one? I don't care is the thing. I, I mean, I could think of it. Um, white rum, <laughs> coconut cream, pineapple juice, tropical frenzy. It could be. It's one of the ones that I love. Pirate juice. Could be the Kenny Chesney, his signature cocktail at Kenny Chesney's Taco and Crab Bar. Nobody is a taco and crab bar, let alone country star Kenny Chesney. Pretty sure. No, he doesn't. I feel like this is going to be one of those, whatever, I don't care. I'm not going to risk it. Neither am I. This is a pina colada. Oh. Oh. Have we been saying pina colada wrong? Because it's like, it has the thing on the end. So pina colada. Right. How have you been saying it? Pina colada. How often do you say it? I sing it a lot. Oh, really? Because <laughs> he doesn't go, if you like pina colada. Yeah, because that's too close to penis and you can't play that kind of dangerous game. The I, think hit song. It, I think it's closer to like Pina is closer to penis. John Pina. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try colorful music taste for 10. Kelly Clarkson cries behind closed doors. The answer is just a color. Correct. Riley. Hazel. That is correct. <laughs> behind these hazel eyes, here I am once again. I was going to say pink, so I'm glad you beat me to it. <laughs> You thought that Kelly Clarkson was crying behind Pink Eye? Yeah. You think she gets down like that? I don't think so. Hollywood's fucked up, man. It's an acid ass world. Common members for two. Nirvana, Foo Fighters, Graydon. Is that Dave Grohl? That is correct. Good one, man. I had zero idea. <laughs> The Grohl Bowl. That's his signature dish at his Chipotle ripoff that also sells crabs. I meant to tell you something. <laughs> what? Right? Shut up. It's the Grohl Bowl. It's a good dish. That's what I meant to tell you. Shut up. Comes with pineapple juice, Next. coconut cream, and white rum. Uh, let's do <laughs> skip it's mine. And, Okay, I know. Four letter words for ten. Your biological makeup can be expressed using these four letters, though it might take some time to get all the sequences written down. Graydon. Is it MRNA? That is incorrect. Fuck, another 10 off the board for me. <laughs> <laughs> MRNA. Why'd that sound right? It, Arena. It That's died. how you'd abbreviate that. It doesn't sound right. That's the thing. Oh, it doesn't? No. Not to you? D-N-A-R. D-N-A-S. My DNAs. Yeah, I'm going to pass on this one. This is A-C-G-T. I did terrible on that test. Moderna. Maybe that's what I was thinking of. Let's do uh, common members for 10. Metallica. Megadeth. A white guy. <laughs> Guarantee it. Riley. Lars Ulrich. That is incorrect. Damn it. Crap. Could it be? No, it couldn't be. You don't know any other members of Metallica. Could it be? <laughs> it couldn't be. <laughs> He's only in Megadeth. For sure. <laughs> I've never seen any of these movies, but they don't sound like shit Kevin Bacon would be in. <laughs> Wrong. This right. summer, mega death with Kevin Bacon. He has like fucking squid arms that shoot rockets and shit <laughs> against the evil crab overlords. I am <laughs> done with the crab shit. Oh, dude. fuck yourself, man. They're going to eat that shit up. Crab, crab, crab. They're part of the curse. The crab overlord invented the curse and he tricked me in going into a hole. Isn't the curse, you explained the curse, uh, whatever. I don't care. Something to do with crab. Crab ass. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? This is Dave Mustaine. Fuck yeah, what a good name. It's a cool ass name. Yeah. Radden Mustaine doing cocaine. <laughs> 
<laughs> Dave Grohl, he was in Nirvana and the Foo Fighters. Hey, let's do skip intro. Now, what was that category again? A skip intro means what? Uh, th- bands or artists that made theme songs. Okay, so 10 is going to be a band. A little slip up on your end there. Give me skip intro for 10. The sitcom Malcolm in the Middle has an upbeat rock intro by this 90s children's themed band. You're not the boss of me now. 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 I just want to do a couple takes for you. Thanks, man. I forget who does this, and I should know. Could be 311. Children's themed. Ugh. Fuck. I think it's a ska band. Finger 11? No. They were, <laughs> s- they were not a ska band. I don't know. I'm going to pass on it. This is They Might Be Giants. They're not a children's themed band. That's a lot of people's favorite band ever. Whatever, man. Sorry, I was just trying to... <laughs> I've tried to do like normal talking for the video, but I, I see that you don't want any part of that. There's two things I want to talk about. Yeah. I want to talk about fictional restaurants that celebrities don't own that have signature items that rhyme with their names. Or I want to talk about the potential of there being a crab ass overlord that is controlling a curse that's ruining my life. Those, that's it. And I thought I made that very clear. When did you... Make that clear. It doesn't matter. How's the curse ruining your life? I feel like, if anything, it's just doing something to the show. It's ruining my life. Last night, my bed fell apart. You have an old bed. It's the curse. It's not the curse. It's the crab ass. (laughs) You have a rotting bed frame. Kevin Shaken Bacon's restaurant. All the chairs vibrate, and they only serve bacon. (laughs) That's the kind of jokes I want to talk about. Kevin Bacon for 10, I assume? No, I'm not touching that category. Okay. Let's do it for 10. (laughs) Matt Dillon, Denise Richards. Oh, that's the one. I've seen it. They have a threesome in this. (laughs) It's a great movie. It's called, uh, I've seen it. (laughs) I wish I remembered it, because 10 would be big for me right now. (laughs) Totally would, yeah. It's called, like, oh, Kevin Bacon's good in that, and you see his dick in, like, the last 20 minutes for no reason. (laughs) Literally, no one, like, he just walks out of the shower. Kind of does a double. <laughs> right. Fuck, and they have a crazy threesome. Matt Dillon's a sleaze ball. And it's, I think it's a two-word name. It'd be Footloose. No, it's not. I'm good. What is it? This is, are you good? Oh, yeah, duh. All right. This is Wild Things. Ah, so close. It's like the children's book. Where the wild things are? <laughs> But this was a different adaptation by Guillermo del Toro. He doesn't do sick shit like that. Fucked up movie, man. Good threesome scene, though. It was good. Cool. Champagne on the boobies. And Matt Dillon laying it down, I presume. They don't get that far. Cool. Uh, (laughs) Good game. Matt Dillon's filling barbecue ribs. That could be his signature (laughs) dish. Because they're filling. Because they're baby back pork ribs. All right, let's do, let's keep doing Kevin Bacon for eight. John Belushi. Tim Matheson. Kevin Bacon in Animal House. <laughs> I'm going to be no use in this category. You're kind of like... Graydon. Animal House. That is correct. All right, cool. Guess he was in Animal House. Bet you don't see his cock in that one. <laughs> John Bo- John Belushi. <laughs> John, John Belushi's Crab Rangoon Sushi. There you go. <laughs> nice. It didn't feel right. But you're joining in on the fun. It's not fun. Of course it's fun. It's rhyming fake dishes at restaurants that don't exist. Those are like the three main stays of comedy. <laughs> rhyming. Uh-huh. Lying. And, and re- restaurants. And restaurants, yeah. Those are the three things that throughout all of time have been funny in comedy. I'm having a stomach issue myself. Yeah, I've heard yours <laughs> and mine, and sometimes I can't tell the difference. I haven't eaten all day, and the last time I peed, I felt my whole stomach cramp. That sounds real. Oh, that just happened, yeah. <laughs> Your whole stomach cramped when It you cramped and I couldn't even stand up. That's why I sat down in that weird chair that I usually wouldn't sit down in. And then <laughs> someone walked in with a plate of fruit and I just grabbed a piece because I hadn't swallowed anything all day. It hit that cramped stomach like a pound of bricks. <laughs> someone walked in with a plate of fruit? Someone who will remain unnamed. <laughs> I didn't see anybody. Oh, it still hurts. You should go to a doctor. Fuck a doctor. You know what he's going to tell me? Here's a list of things wrong with you, and we need to operate immediately. (laughs) Yeah, right. Like, I'm getting conned into that again. (laughs) All right, let's keep this going. First thing you should get checked out is assuming the doctor's a guy. Yeah, that you need to get checked out. He could be a gay guy. That's cool with me. Happy Pride Month, Dr. Oats. (laughs) Whatever. (laughs) 
whatever name. You are making progress. You didn't give him like a gay name. You gave him kind of. What's just... a gay name? Well, yeah, I always thought you were gonna say like Doctor Dicks a lot or something. <laughs> what? You know, you can be gay and not like Dick Riley. Yeah, obviously. It's like I want to burp and I can't burp. It's, it's fucked. Yeah. Let's do Kevin Bacon for six. <laughs> Kevin Costner, Tommy Lee Jones. Oh, fuck yeah. I like these two guys. Was Kevin Bacon in Dances with Wolves? <laughs> <laughs> what did he play? An Indian war chief? <laughs> I mean, Native American, probably. That's probably what I meant, but when the, it was like the time of the movie. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. 90s. You still thought they were from India. <laughs> Correct. Back then. What is Kevin Costner in? Graydon. Is it Dances with Wolves? That is incorrect. Yeah, he might be in that. That was a bad call on my part. I'm going to say no thanks. Maybe Sleepless in Seattle, though, but I'll pass on it. <laughs> this is JFK. That's the guy who rode in a convertible and was completely fine, right? No. He invented <laughs> the light bulb. And he had hookers? Yeah. Yes. And flew the kite. Yep. And we get Monday off school because of him, right? JFK correct. Day? Correct. Yeah. All right. Let's get out of there and let's do Kevin Bacon for four. <sighs> Tom Cruise, Jack Nicholson. Was Kevin Bacon in The Shining? Was Tom Cruise in The Shining? <laughs> he played the little girl. <laughs> no, he didn't. And he was an extra for the maze at the end. I haven't seen the end, so don't spoil it. Oh, there's a hedge maze, and he gets lost in it and dies. That doesn't spoil it yet. Yeah, right. There's more to go. There's a ghost. <laughs> shiny. What is Tom Cruise in with Jack-Jack? Oh, he's trying to end. Riley. Jerry Maguire. That is incorrect. Where was Cuba Gooding Jr., buddy? I just was bored because you keep picking all the categories that I obviously don't have guests for. <laughs> you did the whiskey neat one, and then you did the Kevin Bacon one. Not laughing. I'm cramping. <laughs> Probably Mission Impossible 11. No, I'm good. A Few Good Men. Ooh. Couple good ones in that movie. <laughs> Tom Cruise doesn't seem like a good guy. He's a Scientologist. Which is fine with me. What? Shouldn't be. It's fine with me. It seems like a sex cult. Oh. It's fine with me. We have a few people that we have to keep kind of copacetic, you know? Copacetic? I have to appease a few people, okay? Scientology is all good with me. Okay. Clearwater, Florida. Beautiful place to visit. <laughs> <laughs> and don't knock it till you try it with the church thing of the science. Go ahead. All right, let's do colorful music taste for eight. John Mayer hits a riff on Frank Ocean's debut. Graydon. It's just one word. It's a color. It's orange. That is incorrect. Oh, God. Riley. White. That is correct. It's the name of the song. Ah, nothing rhymes good with mayor. <laughs> you could just do John Mayonnaise. No, I was trying to think of something kind of dairy barn rural themed, just because I thought that'd be cute for him. John Mayer's milk sprayer, and it's like a cow thing? I don't know. <laughs> Makes it sound like his cock. Mm. And I don't think that's a place you'd want to take your kids. Yeah, okay. Well, let's do skip intro for two. The 1970s themed sitcom That 70s Show featured an intro song by a period correct rock band. Hanging out down the street. Same old thing we did last week. What the fuck was that band? I know. Oh, wait, I know it. Um, do, 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 do. Riley. Is it just Star? That is incorrect. Something Star. Oh, is it Big Star? Yeah, it is. Fuck. Huh. Graydon. Is it Big Star? That is incorrect. Oh. whoop de fucking do We both lost two. What is it? This is Cheap Trick. Oh, Cheap Trick did it? Want you to want me. I'll do four letter words for two. Lost travelers might seek these letters for direction. Graydon. N-Y-S-E. That is correct. Oh, you said Y. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I meant. What? You know they know what I meant. I meant W. You said New York Fashion Week. <laughs> N Y S C. The W looks like a Y. <laughs> New York, South Carolina. New York looks like a. The W looks like a Y to me. No, it does. That is and that's ridiculous. Fine. They gave it to me, and they know what I meant. North, South, East, and yes. <laughs> Go yes, young man. That's what they used to say. Just go ahead. I think I have negative 60. 41. You're back to negative 41. That's how you started the game. I think I got a chance. Why did I start the game with negative 41? <laughs> Are you guys trying to fuck me? Oh, sorry. You had negative 41 after the 
first question of this round. Right. When you daily doubled for 20. I DD'd for 20. Speaking of which, there's another one out there, and I gotta <laughs> sniff that sucker out. Um, hopefully it's not in Common Members Skip Intro or the other Kevin Bacon one. Um, let's do the whiskey. Let's finish the drinks. Vodka, coffee liqueur, espresso, sugar syrup. Great in. What's this? A Sabrina Carpenter martini? <laughs> espresso martini that is correct <laughs> oh, that was a callback to the last round it's very rude of you to not let me get that one sabrina pop tart and ders a restaurant that serves bespoke pop tarts that's green and operated by pop singer sabrina Ca- carpenter <laughs> and it's called sabrina's pop tart and hers <laughs> Joke's on you. She already has a company. It's called Sabrina Carpeters, and they carpet people's houses. <laughs> Tough gig. Yeah. Good for her. Mm-hmm. She works hard. I hope her and Barry Keoghan are happy. That's a fake relationship. You don't know shit about anything. There's a new Lil Xan and Noah Cyrus. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who those people are anymore. <laughs> I realized that at one point I did, but I don't anymore. Yeah, that's fine. You don't need to know anymore. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <good. laughs> you know, it's like the extra cargo on a ship, and yeah. they're they're trying to make sure they can make it to shore, so they have to dump some stuff. Off. <laughs> you know, crabs shed. Nope. <laughs> okay, let's do four letter words for eight. It's called crab shack, not crab shed. <laughs> yes. Uh, can I do? What did I do last time? Twenty. Yeah. Yep. Twenty, please. It's only four letters. How hard can it be? Out of thirteen, nine are numbers, while the remaining four are these letters. <laughs> What? What does that even mean? Out of 13, nine of them are numbers. The remaining four are these letters. Out of 13 what? Is it players on a baseball team? Out of 13. A baker's dozen is 13. Yeah, that's true. (laughs) And crabs lay eggs, too. So technically, they could be a baker's dozen of crab eggs. Why? I'm going to go with, ooh, this is going to be, this is going to be the end for me. Yeah, This is going to be slamming the door in the coffin. Let's go B, H, L, and I. (laughs) That is incorrect. Tough. Okay, what are they? J, Q, K, and A. And what is this? Cards. (laughs) Ah. There's 13 different cards in a deck, and only four of them are letters, because those are those ones. (laughs) What about two? What? What about two? As like a letter? (laughs) Who's not a letter? <laughs> it is. Two L M N O P Q R S two U V W X Y Z. You know, yeah. for a second there, I, I actually I was worried. What do you mean? I had something wrong. And I realize I still do. I'm big enough to admit that, but I thought two was a letter for a second. It is. <laughs> two U V. Like the name Thomas. It's two H O M A S. Got it. <laughs> Wait a second. O is definitely is there there's a zero in the deck. Common members for eight. Soundgarden. Audio slave. I know one member of Soundgarden. Not personally, but that's the only one that I would know. Eddie Vedder? Nope. He's in Pearl Jam. Yep. You tried to trick me. I didn't I what, what did I do? Yeah. Okay. Eddie's cheddar. Yeah, I knew it was coming. <laughs> it's Obviously. a deli. Yeah, it's She's got special cheddar cheese. Okay, cool. Are you going to guess? I will not be guessing. This is Chris Cornell. That's the one I was going to guess, but I wasn't 100% sure that he was an audio slave. Don't do it. Chris Corn Shells and it's tacos. They all have corn shells. <laughs> all right, that one's creative. <laughs> Thank I do you. like that one, but uh, rest in peace to Chris Cornell. And it's Sound Garden to Table. All right. <laughs> it's an organic place. Yeah, okay. Kevin Bacon for two. Tom Hanks, Gary Sinise, Graydon. It's one of the Apollos. What is it? Apollo 13? That is correct. Nice. Mm, good. I was going to say Force Gump. <laughs> no, you were. <laughs> I no, really were. was. Yeah. When yeah. I think Tom and Gary, that's what I think. But Other then... than the, the cat and the mouse. <laughs> when I think Tom and Gary, it's either Forrest Gump or that zany little cartoon they did with the cat chasing the mouse all the time. Tom Shanks. Tom Hanks Land Shakes. All right. Come on. <laughs> let's keep it going. Um, four letter words for six. Scrabble players aiming to score big may try to play these four highest valued letters on bonus spaces. Z, Q, P, (laughs) and maybe like W. Maybe like Z, W, Y, and X. Z, W, Y, and X. Why wouldn't it be that? Z might not be in there though. Riley. Z, X, Q, 
W. W's cool. four. I know that. <laughs> and V? That is incorrect. Oh. Don't worry, dude. You're winning by a lot. Not to me. Oh. <laughs> what would a lot be? Like a hundred. Okay. No, I'm good. This is Q, Z, X, and J. Uh. J. Sneaky. J8. <laughs> I love Scrabble, dude. If anybody wants to play Scrabble with me, you have to already know me in real life. I'm not just going to play a super random person. Fuck you no. can't come over and play Scrabble with me just because no. you watch the show. That's ridiculous. Yeah. But if you're my friend and you're watching, and maybe I don't feel comfortable being vulnerable with you in the current moment, I'd like you to know while watching this that I'd like to play Scrabble with you soon. <laughs> Is that fair? That's fair. Cool. Music taste for six. Action Bronson and Chance the Rapper battle a nasty breakup. Riley. It's blue, baby blue, but blue. That is correct. Baby blue is the whole color though, but it's, they had to do one word, I guess. Feels like a weird way to like, they had to stick to the rule that they made for themselves. <laughs> <laughs> Should have been the name of the color. <laughs> baby blue, that's a color. Is it? Yeah, baby blue, it's like light blue. Does a baby have a color for every color? <laughs> is there baby red? <laughs> okay. Cool. Baby pink, baby brown, baby white, baby black, baby mixed. <laughs> what? Baby Chinese. <laughs> what? That's a, these are, you can have any kind of baby. Not you, per, like everybody can. There's a lot of different kinds of babies. Is what I'm trying to say. Okay. Didn't even manage to press it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you tried. And it slipped right off my sweaty forehead. I'll go with skip intro for eight, please. The 90s Nickelodeon show All That is known for its intro song by this popular R&B group. All That. I'm just going to go out on a limb on this one. Riley. Is this Boys to Men? That is incorrect. Yeah. Graydon. New Edition? That is incorrect. It could be TLC. It's not, but I don't know who it is. This is TLC. Wow. <laughs> There's only so many popular groups in the 90s. I mean, it was one of them. So wait a minute. This Nickelodeon show's intro song is by The Learning Channel? That yeah, wasn't a good one. You're right. You're right. I'm sorry about that. Uh, TLC's BLTs. They serve BLTs. <laughs> R&BLTs. That's what they serve. Thanks, man. It's a bacon, <laughs> lettuce, Kevin Bacon, lettuce, and tomato sandwich. That uh, Yeah, that's what they do. Thanks a lot, man. With some John Mayonnaise on there. <laughs> you don't realize how much that did for me. Don't go chasing waterfalls. Listen to the, the stars star. hit the I hate Smash Mouth. Ball. All right, come on. Uh, I'll do It's Me. I know, but I got like the second guess, so. That's not how it works it's in the It's just like, game. come on, throw me a bone. All right, let's say it at the same time. Seven Common members, members for, for six. <laughs> Common members for six. Blur, Gorillas, Riley. Damon Albarn. That is correct. I was going to say Fred Armiston. <laughs> Fred Armisen? Yeah. He does play drums, and he's a weird guy. Kind of weird, you know? <laughs> Part of his comedy. He's a strange individual. Color for music taste for two. Ringo Starr takes a trip under seas in a brightly colored vessel, Riley. And it was all yellow. That is correct. I'm not taking it easy on you. Brightly colored vessel. That's how I'd describe you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You shine bright like a little star. That's nice of you to say. Common members for four. Blink-182, Angels and Airwaves, Riley. Thomas DeLong. That is correct. I was going to say Tom Segura. <laughs> it's a good thing that I'm buzzing before you, man, because I'm saving you a lot of embarrassment. Yeah, thank you. He's the alien guy. Tom Segura? No, no Tom DeLong. He's uh, one of the bears in the Two Bears, One Cave. <laughs> and he uh, has a cheeky little production company called Your Mom's House, which is funny. That is funny. Tom Segura and Burt Kreischer, their comedy's going to age well. Yeah, That's I'd say I'm we get them on the show. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. Because we're, yeah, it's like we're two guys who do comedy and they're two guys who do comedy. We're kind of the twinks and they're the bears in yeah. terms of straight guy comedy. Two twinks, one cave. We can make a podcast <laughs> called that. Two caves. I'd like my own. <laughs> Skip intro for six. The raunchy comedy series South Park starts every episode with a song from this metal band known for its bass player, Riley. Primus. That is correct. He made that shit. I want to dance in the park, I'm gonna have myself a town. And he faces everywhere. Yep, less Claypool. I'll nice. take more Claypool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I don't really like Primus that much, but they're all right. They're good. I respect it. Primus rib. Prime rib. Look at Jay Z's album. Four, four, four. 
I'll do colorful music taste for four. Sha la 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 is what you'd say too if you gazed into her eyes. Sha la 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 la. Oh yeah, duh. Riley. Brown eyed girl, brown. That is correct. That's uh, Jim Morrison. From the, from the doors. <laughs> Holy shit. Well, let's go across the board. Four letter words. PC gamers comfortable with a keyboard commonly use these letters for movement. Graydon. Wazd. W-A-S-D. That is correct. Oh, I got stung by a wazd. <laughs> I hope I'm allergic. I only have a few minutes left. Toledo YouTuber Scott the Wazd. He's from Toledo. Did you know that? We should get Scott the Waz on the show. I don't know who that is. I don't, I've never watched a single video, but he's from Toledo, and that means he can come on the show. <laughs> That's enough for me, yeah. And he's much bigger than us. It'd be Honestly, he'd be doing us a favor. Physically? Ah, oh, I don't know. No <laughs> idea. Again, haven't watched a video. So if he's a big fat guy, that's fine with me. I don't care what he looks like. I do, to a degree, but <laughs> if he's just big, that's all right. Okay. But if he looks more fucked up. Yeah, I guess. You know what I mean, if his head looks like, like he should be dead. Uh -huh. <laughs> like, let's say you got one of those freak accidents where you see the x-ray and like a whole pipe or an anchor went through their head <laughs> and they're like in 1918 this person lived but then they looked like this afterwards no offense i just couldn't perform next to a freak who had like an anchor go through their head and then they lived and i understand in a way all of us youtubers are kind of anchors you know we deliver the news but um i don't let it get to my head no. Scott the Waz, you're welcome on the show anytime. <laughs> Unless. Unless. <laughs> you had a big thing go through your head. Right. And you yeah. somehow lived. Let's get the last clue. The 2002 HBO drama The Wire starts every episode with a song by this experimental folk artist. You know it. You love experimental folk. I feel like I have a guess, but I've never watched The Wire. Well, then it'd be impressive. <laughs> All right. Riley. Nick Cave. That is incorrect. <laughs> I tried it. <laughs> I did. I tried it. Okay. Graydon. What? You buzzed in over oh, here. I see shit. it lit up. Yeah, is it Bjork? Right that is incorrect. How old was she in 2002? Probably like 40, 30, 40. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. She's 70? She's probably like, my guess would be like 57. Wow. Can somebody look up Bjork's age? I believe it's pronounced Bjork, by the way. <laughs> that out. 58. 58. Wow. I did a good job with my it guess. Bjork. Who is this? This is Tom Waits. What are you doing that for? I just don't know if I'd say he's experimental. Say if anything, it's avant-garde. Tom waits for no one. And that's like a restaurant where you don't have to wait for the food? There's no waiters. <laughs> no waiters? Mm -hmm. It's all machines. Nice. It's a touchscreen restaurant. You go up and you order, but it's Tom waits for no one. How about it's a, like a complex system of pulleys and stuff, and it's like the weights bring it to you. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Eh, I don't know. No one. Tom Segura, Burt Kreischer, and Scott the Waz, you are welcome on the show anytime. Yep, and Tom Waits, I believe, is dead. Rest in peace. Fuck. I have my Final Jeopardy coming up. We're going to get the category. We're going to write down our wagers. We're going to show those to you guys so you know that we're not lying. And then we're going to get the clue. Then we're going to hear Hunter Veer's original Have My Jeopardy theme song. And at the end of that, we got to have our answers written down. We're going to reveal those. And then a winner will be crowned. Good luck, man. Good luck to you as well. What's the category? for Hive Mind Final Jeopardy. Best friend. Best friend. That's the category. The category's best friend. That's weird. <laughs> Let's get a score update before we write down our wagers. Graydon has negative 65 and Riley has 29. Okay, cool. <laughs> Stop. Stop what? Stop trying to look. I'm not trying. I already looked. I didn't have to try that hard. You're right next to me. Stop trying to look so handsome. Oh, really? So, Grant, how about you tell me about the best friend? What? It was a video? DJ Grant, play that video. What's poppin' everyone? It's Copes. I was hit up by DJ Grant to give Riley and Graydon a question for their Jeopardy game today. Uh, Riley and Graydon, um, I hope one of you guys knows this because it's a very special day. We had a lot of fun, a lot of good parties, a lot of good times. And my question for you guys is what day is my birthday on? If neither of you get this, I'm not going to be sad, but I'm going to be kind of disappointed. So good luck, and I hope the best man wins. Wow! <laughs> We 
We don't have to have year, do we? What? No. Just day? Yeah. Got it. Who the fuck was that guy? <laughs> It looked like a little goth freak or something. Like a skinny goth guy. Yeah, that's Copes. He's like our merch collaborator, good friend of ours. I mean, it's in the category best friend. I'd say he's our best friend. <laughs> you would? I, we have to. We have to say oh. that. That's a really interesting one because, you know, usually these categories, it's like something <laughs> like everybody can get, you know what yeah. I mean? And like, this is really like a test. <laughs> I do like... I've never seen anything like this on our show. I do like the video categories. Like, they do that sometimes in Jeopardy. Yeah, but, but it's usually Aaron Rodgers. This was just like a cheap replication of that. Oh, thank God it wasn't Aaron Rodgers asking what his birthday is. I, I know his no birthday. no fucking idea. I know his birthday. What's his birthday? Same as Pearl Harbor. December 6th. <laughs> Really? No, I think so, yeah. <laughs> All right, well, uh, the question is, what is Cope's birthday? <laughs> So uh, let's reveal. Sure. All right, you go first. I put October 11th. I put February 14th, Valentine's Day. It is February 14th. Yeah, I know my friends. <laughs> I'm telling you, I've never seen that guy in my <laughs> life. You wrote down 69, LOL. And you know what I mean? <laughs> That was your wager? What? Was that your wager or your yes. answer? Oh, okay. So you end up with negative 134 as a result of that wager there? Fuck, I should have wagered negative points. Because negative plus a negative is always a positive. Yeah, you would have ended up with four. Fuck! <laughs> but I don't think negative 69 has the same connotation as like... <laughs> and I get 29 plus 29, which everyone knows is... 58. So 58 to negative 134. <laughs> I like his vibe, though. He had, like, a whole kind of something cool about him. Yeah, he's our friend. We went on tour with him. Tour. <laughs> you and me did? Yeah. Like Kreischer and Segura? Yes. Like Tom Segura and Burt Kreischer. Fuck yeah. Who opened for who? We did the set together. What are you... This, it was a hive mind tour. It was me and you doing this, but on stage. Never met that guy in my life. <laughs> He was our photographer and merch guy for the tour. Okay, whatever you say, Bonzo. All right, well, that was another game of Hive Mind Jeopardy. Let us know if you had a good time. <laughs> yes. No. <laughs> well, make sure you like the video, subscribe, all that stuff I said at the beginning, and great. Now, about you give these wonderful people some advice to leave it those lives by? A penny saved is a penny fucking wasted you could have spent on something today. <laughs> 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 All right, this has been I Mind TV. We love you, appreciate you, and we'll see you in the next one. Copes. <gasps> That's the most enthusiastic noise I can make right now. I need you to need me. <laughs> Sorry.